Hello everybody, this is Father Moki Hino coming to you from the parish of Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Wailuku, Hawaii. We're on the island of Maui. Today is Thursday, October 10th, 2024, and this is Chicken Chat. Uh, today we are at the rectory, not the chicken coop, so uh, here we go. Uh, the first thing is, uh, the film about the Philadelphia Eleven, they were the first women ordained to the priesthood in the Episcopal Church. There is a documentary film about them that will be shown on Sunday, October 20th at Seabury Hall at 1 o'clock to 3.30. And then afterwards at 4 o'clock, there is a Sunday service in the chapel. So if you would like to go, please let me know so that I can get a word to Father Chris so that he can have a head count. Uh, if you could let me know by the end of next week, that would be really, really great. Um, I went with Dixie to the Big Island this past weekend and we had a wonderful family reunion for my grandmother's family, the Higashi family. Uh, my great-grandparents came to Hawaii from Japan in 1899 and th this makes 125 years of the Higashi family in the Hawaiian Islands and we now span six generations. So it was a wonderful time. And then we also enjoyed um, driving around the Big Island and the views of Mauna Kea, Hualalai were absolutely wonderful. Uh, this coming weekend, the delegates from Good Shepherd Church will be going to our diocesan convention. That's Saturday morning at St. Andrew's Cathedral at 8.30. So please pray for our delegates and pray that they discern the will of God in their voting. Uh, Saturday evening will be evening prayer. Uh, I'm not able to attend uh, Saturday evening because I have a time conflict with a wedding for Nathan Idika. So Dixie is going to stay behind and lead everyone in evening prayer. We've prepared a really beautiful service for everyone. So please come and support uh, this service. Uh, also, I'd like to say thank you. I should put my glasses on. I would like to say thank you to Forever Family and Friends for putting on last week's Ka Ohana Kitchen. Um, that is a group that Daryl Atai and her friends uh, do every once in a while. Uh, a cup of cold water in the month of October has a rubber slipper drive, or as I like to say, rubber slipper drive. So we have a box in the church office during the week, and that box goes into the sanctuary on Sunday. You can put slippers in there, and we will get them to people in need. Also, again, I'd like to put out a plea for volunteers to uh, do the counting of the offering on Monday mornings. Uh, Altar Guild needs help, Sunday School needs help, Kaohana Kitchen needs volunteers, and we also need some ushers. Uh, we, we have experienced a lot of um, visitors lately, and so it's nice for those folk to be greeted at the door and handed a bulletin and told where they can sit. So please consider any of these ministries. Uh, we will um, now pray for everyone by name on our pastoral care prayer list. You will notice that the name Ellen is no longer on the list because she has completed her cancer treatment. Let us pray. Irenio, Eric, Joni, Purificacion, Eliza, Tom A., Marianne, Nellie, Joyce, Ewell, John B., Lydia, Velma, Jim, Bill, Judy, Lucille, John D., Roxanne, Tom D., Teula, Maggie, Shirley, Cindy F., Dolores, Juanito, Matt, Catherine, Robert, Jacinta, David, Michael, Coswinda Family, Jose, Alexa, Charlotte, Gary, 
Jan, Lehua, Serene, Chat, Karen, Elizabeth, Ryder, Greg, Mercedes, Lisa, Ernesto, Randall, Dale, Rochelle, Chris, Alfredo R., Sandy, Sarah, Margaret, Cora S., Barbara, Elena, Charlesta, Brianna, Paul, Dan, Lynn, Tomo, Florine, Kathy. Circle me, O oh God, and circle me with your presence. Keep joy within, keep bitterness out. Keep generosity within, keep greed out. Keep love within, keep self-seeking out. Keep light within, keep darkness out. In the name of the Sacred Three, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This uh, past weekend, we had a very full Sunday service. Um, with the visitors from Mississippi and a uh, full, full slate of acolytes were there. Uh, we, we aren't able to share pictures with you of Saturday because we were on Hawaii Island and Father Bruce de Goyer came and uh, did the Eucharist at that service. Also, uh, All Saints Day, All Saints Sunday is coming up on November Third, and uh, we are going to send out um, a letter to all of you inviting you to give us a list of names that you would like to have in the bulletin that Sunday. Also, if you would like to update any of the photos that we used of your loved ones, uh, please send them to Dixie or me via email or text. Okay. Uh, now, I would like to tell you about Birgitta of Sweden. Birgitta of Sweden, whom I learned about while I was in Palm Springs. Uh, my roommate there was a very devout Catholic, and he prayed to uh, St. Birgitta of Sweden every morning by doing seven our fathers and seven Hail Marys. So he would do our father Hail Mary, our father Hail Mary, our father Hail Mary seven times uh, and offer prayers to Saint Brigida of Sweden and in the hope that she would be a good intercessor for those prayers. Uh, she was born uh, the 23rd of July and was a mystic saint and founder of the Brigantines nuns and monks. She is the most celebrated saint of Sweden. She was married at the age of 14 and had eight children. And when her husband died, she devoted herself wholly to a life of prayer, caring for the poor and the sick. Uh, around that time, she developed the idea of establishing a religious community, which became the Order of the Most Holy Savior or the Brigantines. So um, there we go. That is St. Birgitta of Sweden. And now, everyone, for the chicken of the week. So I was waiting very patiently. I, I go over on Saturdays uh, and I set up about four o'clock and then I just like to sit. Um, until five o'clock and as people come uh, we visit and talk story but early on uh, last week's uh, not last week's saturday but the saturday before i was sitting there and i noticed this rooster um, coming up on the edge of the property and it reminded me of this thing uh, use um, deduct defense defeat detail in one sentence and I remembered it was deduct when over defense first with defeat and then with detail and the chicken was right there along um, defense so I would like to name the chicken of the week this week defense thank you very much defense for being the chicken of the week take care everybody and we'll see you next week bye now <laughs>